Hey, what's going on? So just doing a quick unboxing of Molinard's Fig. I've been very interested about this one for a while. I just have never pulled the trigger on it and you know, decided it was time. I love fig fragrances. I like Carner's Fig Man and Aqua de Parma's uh, Fico, Fico de Amafi, which is, they're both great. Um, very realistic green figgy fragrances. I grew up with a fig tree in my backyard, so it's a really familiar scent for me. And uh, I like the ones that tend a little bit more towards the the greener side, uh, not so much the like the leafy bark uh, smell. I don't know if you've ever smelled that, but it does have a distinct smell. The fig fruit is great, tastes great too, but um, obviously going to be a little bit more sweeter. Anyway, that's the bottle. You can see, where's this? Bangle. You know, purple is one of my favorite colors. Whoa, the cap, cap's got a nice weight to it. I have another one that uh, it's not quite this nice. But anyway, let's see how it sprays. Decent sprayer. Kind of cheap, actually, but it's 45 bucks. I like it. A little bit of alcohol blast at the beginning, but you definitely get that fig scent, that greener scent. This is a little bit drier than I'm used to. Almost, almost picking up a little bit of lemon or something, lemony citrus grapefruit maybe in the open. But you do smell the fig in the background. I mean, pretty straightforward. We'll see how it goes dried down, but I want to see if I have... No, I don't actually. Maybe I do. Hold on a second, bear with me. I thought I might have Carner's sample by my side, but it doesn't look like I do. No, I don't. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh... Let me know what you think of it. Have you tried this? Do you like fig scents? I know it's already the end of the summer, but you know, I don't, it's still hot here. But anyway, again, have a good one. Thanks. I'm just doing a quick update on that first impressions of fig. So, worn this a couple times and uh, gotta say, really enjoyed it. And I, you know, I've tried, a, like I mentioned earlier, a few fig uh, fragrances, and out of the ones that I have tried, this is probably tops as far as value, performance, just overall scent for me. You know, I, I, I you know, hands down, I would choose this over, let's say, like Carner, the Fig Man, or Fico del Amalfi, or even Dune by Dior. All of those are great fig fragrances, but I think that the price for me is a little bit inhibitive because you're paying about double. This guy was like 45 bucks, I think, with tax. You can find it for 50, between 45 and $50, right? So uh, the other ones are Dunes about 75, 80 bucks. Carner is about 100, 110. Sometimes you can find it gray market, 90. Uh, so, and then Fico del Amalfi is also relatively priced uh, because you do get a bigger bottle and it is around the $80 price range. I think it's a 4.2, but it's still uh, the performance on that one is lacking in my opinion. It does smell more natural and it is going to be, you know, a, like I said, just an overall little bit more pleasant. This is a little bit pungent and sharp to the nose with the, with the opening. You know, some people say it's bergamot. I didn't really get to ber bergamot. I got more of a, a lemon, uh, really sharp lemon. And also some people say grapefruit. And not to my nose, but in any case, it's a sharp citrus note at the beginning. But And there's a little bit of alcohol associated with that. But it quickly dries down and almost it leans a little bit into the coconut range, right? So fig does tend to sometimes give this coconut vibe. This one will give you a little bit of that vibe, but it's not heavy, heavy 
uh, creamy coconut that some of the other ones do. You know, um, if you are looking for a little bit more natural, I would say go Fico del Amalfi. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit more, I think out of all of them, my favorite is Cardner Figman. But again, price aside, I would pick that one. But for me, as you probably know if you're watching my channel, I'm a little bit more price conscious with what I purchased. And this is tough to beat. So get your nose on it if you can. If you if you like fig fragrances and you and you know you've smelled a few and kind of have an idea about what you like, I would say, you know, don't worry about blind buying this. You're not gonna make a bad decision. It's under 50 bucks, but again, you know. Get your nose on it before you get mad at me and tell me that you spend $50 and that you hate this. But thanks for watching.